Okay, testing one. Okay, I'm getting a bit of feedback here for a second. But okay, so this is me um, trying to show you guys how to set up the overlay. Uh, this is going to be applicable not just for this particular one, but in general. So the first thing you need to do is have a background for your overlay. Um, maybe you just got a static screen, but uh, for the guys in particular I'm trying to show this to, uh, we have a video created for this. So you're just going to drag this onto your XSplit screen and create a background out of it. Well, bam. I have to trust and hope that this is broadcasting the way I want it to. <laughs> uh, but this will be your background screen. And the first thing is if you have a video like this, you're going to right click it and uh, go to the media section, which oh, it's not showing up because the screen's taking up the full screen. So I'm going to hide this for a moment. Sorry. But okay, so you see it stopped playing. So you want it to loop forever. So you go right click, when finished, loop, and just hit play again. It's good to go. So you make it full screen, which I'll take off again in a moment. It will just keep going over and over and over, and you won't have to touch it. It's just good to go. And that's exactly what you want. So that will be the background. Uh, we'll shrink this for now, though, because it's not important. Hide it in the corner there. So for uh, sometimes, you know, for webcams, boxes are created, or people will give you boxes to hide your web camera behind or make it look nice. Uh, for an example, here's one for me. So it's, uh, it's all the backgrounds. I can't really do this any better without it, guys. But... You'll see it's at Rift Kings. Okay, cool. It's got a set dimension, so I can't really scale it very much, and I can't crop it. I can only resize it. Now, the problem with this is right now, if I add a camera right now, you're going to see my ugly mug in a moment. Hi. Um, the dimensions of my camera do not match, sorry, match the dimensions of the box, and you don't want to have all this ugly black space around it. So what you're going to do is I've already measured this out, so you guys will have to do this on your own. You're going to right-click it. Oops. If I can, uh, there you go. Right-click. Position. And down here, you're going to crop it. Now, as you crop it, you'll see it changes the dimension, zooms in a little bit, whatever. I believe my default one is 33 top and 25 bottom. You guys will have to play around with this, of course, to figure out because your webcam is not going to be the same size as mine. But um, now when I resize this, it should nestle itself pretty nicely within this box. Uh, this will take a moment. There you have it. So now it's like, okay, well, great. What good is the box if you can't see anything? You go down here and just drag your webcam behind it. And there you go. It's nicely layered. It's positioned correctly. Uh, well, actually, for the sake of this overlay, it will be over here. So will my camera. Let's hide it behind it. And uh, the background will just be made full screen. Now I move this a little bit. It's just a bit off. But there, now it looks beautiful. It's good to go. You know, I'm casting. It's between games. I've got a bit of this and that going on. Um, but let's say you're not doing solo. Let's say you have a co-caster. Now either you'll have a second box you can drag up here. I'm just going to hide this background for a moment so you can see my screen again. Um, either you'll have a box like this one for someone else. So you can put a second individual one here. Uh, like So pretend I put someone that wasn't at Rift Kings, but you know, right above me. Uh, or you can have one that's already set up with two boxes like this. So Rifkin and Doom, for example. Let's drag this over here. Try and uh, I'll get rid of the old one. It's just going to look like a mess with all of these here. And uh, you'll find, by the way, there's all these little white boxes, and you can't select your video sometimes. You'll have to layer your things out. So the webcam needs to be on the top layer to size it correctly, or else you can't stretch it out underneath. It'll try and stretch out the big box instead. But once it's done, you just come down here and drag it underneath. And there you have it. And if I had someone else casting with me, I don't. Let's. Uh, Find some random picture here that's hopefully not porn. Okay, great. <laughs> so let's pretend Ice King's casting with me. Obviously, the dimensions of this don't fit. So you just go to the position. Um, I'll try and drag this over here so you guys can see it. Oh, that's not going to work. There you go. Positioning. And uh, you'll just scale that out again. Try and find a way to make it fit. You can crop the sides, left, right, whatever. Uh, I don't know what the dimensions of this one are offhand. I'm not going to fiddle with it too long, but I'm just saying, like, see, that's how you can shrink it and have your caster camera there. And uh, for those who don't know how to do that, you can just simply take a screen region of the Skype camera or whatever program you're using. But again, once you're done setting the webcams, you know, you can reposition it, of course. Oops. Put that there. And you're good to go. Uh, obviously, I'll move this a little bit because it's not quite where I want it to be. But this is why you set up ahead of time, too. You get that little bit of Time to do your pre-production. Make sure everything looks nice. Oops, put that on the bottom layer so I can move myself. Then move the Ice King afterwards. 
no, that's not scaled correctly, but whatever, it's not important for this. Um, there you have it. So like between games, now you've got this beautiful looking overlay. And again, this doesn't have to be um, anything crazy like what we have set up here. You can just have a flat background, a picture of a, a marine. It doesn't matter. But you have your overlay in the background. You've got the cameras cropped and set. And I hope the uh, positioning and the cropping makes sense to you guys. You can play with it a lot, by the way. Let me just get rid of this background thing. Uh, so let's get rid of this for now. It's not important. And get rid of Ice King. So you can really play around with the cropping here. I mean, you can make the right side small, the left side small. Maybe you've got a tiny box that you have to fit yourself into. Oh, God. But all of a sudden, this camera is now sized and fit properly, whereas if you just stretched it out like this, this just resizes it. It doesn't really help whatsoever. Uh, I hope that was a good enough, I guess, tutorial for overlay setting up, and I hope you guys can make use of it. So thanks for watching my video.